Hello Blockaders, today we're going to unbox a demo generation genius. This is a science kit for ages 9 and up. Over here has their catchphrase, always question, always wonder. And at school, when I work at a school, they always show these types of videos for math and science. And over here it says, meet your host, Dr. Jeff. And that's it, let's open this. So inside, there uh, are bounds for each experiment. This one's called liquid form. The second experiment is called light painting. The third and last experiment is called the countdown reaction. And all of these experiments come with gloves. Safety goggles. A sticker. And then right here it says, hey genius, welcome to your science kit. And then there's the website. And that's where we learn how to do all these experiments. By the way, this kit won of I don't know how many, but you can order this in the link in the description to get more of these kits. First, we're gonna back experiment one. So also at the bottom of the box, they have this paper called unrippable paper. So after we're done with every experiment, I'm gonna try ripping that up. So over here, I forgot what it's called, but it's the thing where you put it in some kind of liquid, you press, it'll suck it up, and then unpress, bring it somewhere else, press, kabooey. The liquid just went to a different place. Spoon. Two cups. Two percent sodium alginate. Okay, I have no idea what that was. Over here. I think it's just like this one, except with this, with, except you can choose how much liquid you want in it, be more precise. And also, phew, over here, some powder. This is, oh, calcium lactate uh, glutamate. And then, food coloring. And lastly, a tray. Now let's do the experiment. Okay, so starting off with the sodium alginate worms. Over here, there's a video, and you can see a bit of the worm. So it looks like you'll be pulling them out of the blue water, or whatever food color you put. So on the Generation Genius website, there are videos of all three experiments. So let's press this, sodium, sodium alginate worms. And if you press this, it'll show you the full video. And if you scroll down, it'll show you the materials and instructions. So step one, it says pull out the bag with a big bottle in it. We forgot about the white mat, the unrippable paper. Um, and then step two, it says place the square clear dish in the middle of the mat, which we did. Then pour half of the sodium alginate into the container using a zigzag motion. Remember kids, wear gloves and glasses for your safety because it's over here, it tells you the reminder because this may be harmful. Let's go. Step three says add three drops of each color. Remember to leave some space between each color. So let's do one on this corner. One, two, three. That's three. So step four, it says place your pipette in the center of a color drop while touching the pipette to the bottom, slowly move it away from the drop. So I guess this is called a pipette, pipe bit, whatever it's called. This is what it's called. Uh, and then I put it in the center of a color drop. So what I'm supposed to do is grab this and move it away. That looks more like the picture of step five. Okay, step six, try drawing lines through all the colors, adding swirls. You can even add a few drops of color to your dish.
Okay, so here's the sodium alginate. 20 drops of my favorite color. One. Oh, it's mixing. Two. Oh, three. Basically fully mixed. Step eight, pour. Pour your sodium alginate liquid into one of the plastic cups. I can smell it, it smells like cookies. There, that's good. This is the whole tube into the cup of water and begin mixing right away for 10 seconds until the powder is dissolved. It's basically, yeah, it dissolved. Wow, that was quick. So put this in right here. And here we go to the 10 mark. So it's at 10 right now. You guys can see. Well, at least the stoppers. So that's good enough. Step 11, hold the tip of your string above the water and push down the plunger to ooze the luck. There we go. Whoa. That looks so cool. Whoa. As you can see, guys, it's a full worm. And I really like this part. I'm going to make a, a large worm, okay? That doesn't sound good. <laughs> um, so it's basically filling the whole entire container. Oh. Oh, it worked. Now I got a large gummy bear. Even though it looks like uh, gummy bears, uh, don't eat it. Let's go on to our next unboxing or unbagging. This one is called Light Painted. It's going to be very interesting, by the way. First is this button or wheel. I think it's more of a wheel than a button, actually. But it looks like a button. Bam, bam. Emergency meeting. This is probably lights, right? Oh, it is. Yeah, I, I, it's really not turn on, but it is lights. Two more lights, so there's purple. Well, wait, is it purple? So green, red, and blue. And then, here I think is where you color on. There's orange sheet of paper and a white sheet of paper. Now let's get on to experiment number two. Okay, so for experiment two, called Create Light Paintings, we press it, brings us to the page, and there's an eight minute video, so this one will be pretty quick, uh, but let's do the instructions yet again. Step one, reach into your kit and pull out the bag with the orange sheet in it. So the orange paper. Step two, grab the purple light, or blue, blue, purple, over here. So first, for step two, we were so, you can see purple light. You see that? Everybody should see it. Okay, but for step three, grab the white sheet of paper and dim the light. Okay, so it says try to go in zigzag motion. This already glow in the dark, so let's try it. Oh! Oh! Let's try this again. This is like graffiti, but more friendly. Way more friendly. Let's try Calico. Okay, now step five. Now try this. Place your hand on the paper. Oh. my favorite so far. Okay. The last so getting oh there it's starting to work. Whoa and oh wait that's one here. Let's try one here. So there's a space in the beginning, in the middle, now the end. That's really cool. I right, in the start, 
gold. Oh. Oh, it's working. Do you see that? It's like a portal. Let's try it again. Whoa. That one's even cooler. That last experiment was very fun, but now for the final experiment, it's called the countdown reaction. Sounds very interesting. First, we have 2% hydrogen peroxide. I'm not reading the other ones. More liquid. This one's 0.4% sodium uh, loaded, lodide. And then here the vitamin C pellet and a potato starch, uh, a tray three empty trays, and then this measuring cup. This tape. Uh, a bottle cap. Uh, second bottle cap, these are probably for this. But let's get on to experiment number three. Step one, reach into your kit and pull out the bag that says experiment three. We already got that. So first, we got the blue bottle. The blue bottle with the puffy starch. And then the green bottle with the tablet. There's the puffy starch bottles. So hydrogen peroxide. Also known as H2O2. And in it goes. And it's in. Mission accomplished. Now, we grab one of these lids, put it on, and shake it for 10 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, the palette is dissolving. You can hear it. As you can see, it's dissolved. Get the green bottle, just like before, a cap. Okay, now that we open this and remove the seal, we put the vitamin C tablet and then we shake it like before. And it goes. Eight, five, ten. And it's also dissolving. Now that we got those two to the side. Okay, ready? And it goes. Step nine, pour the liquid from the measuring cup. Whoa, it turned blue. I didn't see that. This thing turned blue. And these two liquids together make blue. And that's the Generation Genius Science Kit. My favorite project was this one with the wheel. It was really cool. Plus you can keep it and use it for the future. But now it's time to see if I can rip the unrippable paper. Let's see. I'm going to rip it at where there's a crease. Oh, it's... Oh! Wow, this is actually a rip. You want to try? It's unrippable. And that's it. If you want to order this book for yourself, you can purchase it at the link in the description. Bye.